Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. You're going to want to watch till the end. I have a really weird and fun surprise. So I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour and my paints are just going to be mixed with water and that's it. So I'm going to be using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in gold, magenta, and white. And then I also use just Artist Loft Acrylic paint in burnt umber and now I'm going in with my primal flow paint and this one's in the color champagne and I'm just giving a little bit of a base coat to this uh, glass here this is an 8 by 10 piece of glass I also mixed up some magenta and white to make a lighter pink color I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video so I'm just going in and making a little bit of a puddle pour I didn't mix much paint at all maybe just like an eighth of my three ounce cup was filled up with paint because you don't need too much paint. So I just went in with my gold, my burnt umber, and then the lighter pink that I made by mixing magenta and white together. And then I went in with the magenta and just kept layering them up. And then I'm gonna go in with my uh, Primal Flow Titanium White paint and pour that all around my puddle. And you can get Primal Flow paint um, from their website. I'll link them down below. It's really awesome because it's, you know, pre-mixed and ready to pour and use and it's awesome for me since I do most of my art at nap time I don't have to spend time mixing up paint I can just use it and go so I'm going to take the titanium white and pour it into a little cup I feel like it's easier to um, pour that way and I'm just making a little thick circle around my puddle pour and I'm going to go in with my hair dryer and move this around and it's going to be on setting low and then high um, airflow but low heat. I tried to do it with my heat gun and that was not working out. The hair dryer really moves paint. It's more like, you know, the heat gun's good for resin. The hair dryer I found with paint works really good. I'm gonna try to use my hair dryer more in resin too. I see a lot of people doing that. So with the hair dryer, you could see I just went over my paint and then pushed it back out, kind of like a fan blowing it outwards. And I'm just trying to move that paint around to get some of the other colors to shine up through. You can see I have some cells popping up here. I love how that magenta is trying to shine through. It's stuck down below there. I'm going to try to tilt it a little bit. So after I was done uh, tilting, I just went in and blew outwards with my mouth about five times. You can see I just kind of blew really hard and made these feather out. I didn't put it in the video because it was just my head over the 8x10 like that. You couldn't see my head doing anything. So I just kind of went over it and blew up and out and made these little feathers appear. And then I got tons of really awesome effects. So this was really cool that my paint was just paint and water and then this happened. I don't know if the Primal Flow paint um, had any part in it, but we'll um, definitely try this again. So now I'm just taking my popsicle stick and trying to smooth out that champagne color over any missing spots. And I'll take you in for a little close up. I had some really awesome stuff happen. What do you guys think? I will show you what she looks like when she's dry. So here we are, it's about 48 hours later and it dried really nice. Um, it has some texture, so I'm gonna try to varnish it and see what happens. Um, this was just a test piece to see what would happen when I did just paint and water mixed together, but you could see the gold trying to pop through there, the metallic gold, so it is pretty shimmery, but there's some really cool lacing happening in here too. I wish the colors were a little bit brighter, but it's definitely something to explore in a future project. So to varnish this piece, I'm going to use my Deco Art Americana pouring medium. They do have a top coat and I totally intended on ordering that, but I accidentally ordered the pouring, pouring medium instead. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna give it a shot because I know you can use the Liquitex gloss uh, or the Liquitex pouring medium as a varnish. So I'm gonna give that a shot. So off camera, I took this Artist Loft copper acrylic paint and painted the background. And then I just went in with a paper towel and dabbed some white on there. Um, the background didn't get filled in all the way with paint, so you could see the glass. So that was all I did on that. 
So now I'm going to go in with the Deco Art Pouring Medium and I'm going to just apply this in a pretty nice thick coat and um, I'm going to just basically wait and see what happens. So I'm just going in and um, trying to get everything covered by tilting and if there's a spot that's not getting covered I might um, add a little bit more but I'm going to go in with my palette knife and smooth this all around. So this is it about 36 hours later and oh my gosh, look at the texture. I think that it was like this because uh, my substrate was glass and I poured the pouring medium on too thick and my paint couldn't take it. So we're gonna just peel this off. I don't like how it turned, off, turned out. So here's a little oddly satisfying video. <laughs> paint peeling. That's one thing I like about pouring on glass is if you don't like it, you can just peel the whole thing off clean the glass, and use it again. What do you guys think of this video? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope everybody is having a happy, happy Friday, and you're going to have a great weekend. I'm definitely going to try this again um, with just paint and water and see how that goes. And I'm going to try a canvas next time. I'll see you guys on Monday for another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.